We are Nigel and Sue and we're travelling around Australia in our self-converted 4x4 Sprinter van. We're passionate about the outdoors and getting out into nature. We believe that adventure has no age limit and we hope to inspire you to get outside and explore your world. In this episode we say farewell to the top end and take the Victoria Highway West, crossing the border just near Lake Argyle and Kununurra. Subscribe to our channel and join us as we show you the highlights and hidden gems of this amazing country. Good morning friends! So today we are making our way out of the Northern Territory. We actually won't cross the border today, we don't think. Um, we might do, but we'll probably stay somewhere just this side of the border. One of the main reasons is when you cross over into Western Australia, you can't take any fruit, vegetables or plants with you. We have a bit of a meal plan for the next couple of meals so that we can eat all of our fresh fruit and veggies. Whatever we haven't eaten, we'll just cook. Celery soup. <laughs> yeah, we have a whole thing of celery, so I don't know how that happened. We haven't eaten any of it. We like celery with peanut butter, so that might be dinner tonight. Butter. What? Penis butter. So rude. We've just stopped for coffee in Catherine before we hit the road and to eat some celery. Um, and we've stopped off. There's this beautiful little part by the river. It's really gorgeous. Check this out. can't camp here um, it's just a day use area and I really love their warning about no drinking alcohol signs it's a coffee spot off to Kananara we go bye bye Catherine Unfortunately, there's still a bit of smoke haze about, which is affecting visibility and blue skies. Not great for photography. We've just stopped for lunch and this is part of Operation Eat Up all the fruit and vegetables that we have remaining in the van. So we've got quite a bit of avocado, tomato, red onion so i'm going to make a big thing of guacamole which we both absolutely adore and we're having corn chips and guacamole for lunch today We've just made a quick stop here at Victoria River. There's a roadhouse here, caravan park. We're not going to stay here. We just want to go down and have a look at the river, right? Yeah, yeah sleepy old place. Yeah. It's nice. The Gregory National Park is uh, where we're driving through at the moment, and we're just wondering if we might uh, spot a croc. Snapping handbags today. Nice spot. Nice spot though, all the same. So we decided to come down and check out the old bridge. So there's the new bridge up there. How much higher up is that night? Oh gosh. Uh, probably another 10, 20 metres. 
So we can kind of see evidence that the water probably came over this one from time to time. Well, you know, just, just thinking, it's scary to think the volume of water in this river to, to be up, you know, at our um, knee level here. It's a long way down. just stopped in a little town called Timber Creek. It's kind of a little nothing town. Got a nice little park here though um, and they've got internet. So we've just stopped here. Nigel wants to watch the rugby this evening um, but at the moment he is down here. We have a little bit of a problem with the van. Sometimes it doesn't want to start. Anyway, Nigel's investigating down there to see if he can sort things out. Checking out the relays. I mean, how good does that look? And especially with this peanut butter, the dark roasted. Nigel, that celery is as big as your head. Healthy. He can't hear because he's watching the rugby. Good morning friends, we are on the road again this morning and we are heading towards the border. It's extremely smoky this morning, it almost looks like it's overcast when we're looking up ahead. So, not sure if there's another fire up ahead. We've got, how long Nigel? About an hour and a half till the border? Yeah, hour and a half. And we have not yet finished all of our fresh fruit and veggies, so we're going to stop this side of the border. We had a massive big smoothie bowl this morning because we had a whole bunch of frozen berries and three bananas. That's all gone into our tummies. And um, yeah, we've done some yoga and continuing on our way. Oh, we keep seeing these boab trees, look. The view out ahead of us of the, what is it Nigel, the Pinkerton Range? It's like really stunning. So here we are, we're at a little rest area called Saddle Creek, I think. Um, eating up some more of our <laughs> fresh veggies. We've made some rosti with onion and tomato. Nigel's having an egg with his. Babe, you could be eating some of that celery and carrot and spring onion. Yeah, it could be, but I won't. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. He said, I could be, but I won't. Um, I'm actually feeling really full because that smoothie bowl we had at breakfast was quite big because there was three bananas in it. And it's interesting because we just, as I said, we just stopped here at this rest stop. And let me show you this. But over here on the table, there are two plastic bags there, one full of potatoes and the other one full of onion and cucumber. And a pair of false teeth, don't forget. Yes! Oh, I've got to show you the vlog, the false teeth. I wouldn't say these false teeth. This is like the weirdest thing. All right, so we've got a bag of potatoes. And then these false teeth. Is that not the creepiest thing you've ever seen? It's very weird. Quick update. We just got rid of the last of our vegetables. We met a couple who are traveling east 
and I just took all the veggies out of the fridge and ran over and said, do you guys want these? You know, are you heading east? And they were so appreciative, which was really lovely. Um, they talked about how they had to throw out their veggies when they were heading west and we're pretty much good to go. Let's hit the border. Nigel's out doing his coach captain duties again. Just making <laughs> making the windscreen nice and clean for when I'm filming out. And obviously so he can see clearly to drive. As we drove further west, we began to see more and more of these huge boab trees. Sadly, a lot of them had been defaced by graffiti carved into their trunks. So we're about five kilometers out from the border now, starting to see people stopped along the side of the road. I guess they're eating the rest of their fruit too. Of course, we stopped at the border for the obligatory sign selfie and then made our way through the quarantine checkpoint. Probably gonna have to put the camera away, but here we come into the quarantine area now. So he was super friendly. He came in, had a look in the fridge, looked in the cupboard under the sink, did not look in the box of death, but that's okay because there was nothing in there anyway. And we didn't have to give away our seeds. So now we are in WA, woohoo! Yo. Welcome to Western Australia where they have beautiful smooth roads. Oh. Oh. For a little while. This one is the, it's the wandering. We continued driving, although it wasn't long before turning off to Lake Argyle, Western Australia's largest and Australia's second largest man-made reservoir. Over 700,000 kilometres square. Created as part of an irrigation scheme, the plan was to plant rice to export to China. However, once they started planting, they found that the magpie geese were eating the rice seedlings faster than they could plant them, so the plan was scrapped. It's now Australia's most underutilised lake. An important bird life area, the lake is home to many species of fish and an estimated 25,000 freshwater crocodiles. We drove across the dam wall down to a picnic area on the other side and Nigel made friends with a bird again. G'day mate. Thank you for showing up mate. Oh, you're a little champion. Shaky fella. <laughs> Too funny. Hmm, was that a bit of rice? <laughs> <laughs> Tourists come to stay in the caravan park on the shores of the lake and their infinity pool is a very popular Instagram photo spot. The pool is almost always crowded and it's freezing cold. So of course I made Nigel go in for the photo. So what do you do when you find a beautiful boab? You hug it. <laughs> you just give it a nice big hug. <laughs> beautiful trees. So that was Lake Argyle. We've decided not to stay here in the crammed in caravan park. We're going to go on to Kununurra and hopefully um, there's a free camp not too far from town where we can park up for tonight. A little bit more space between us and our neighbours. <laughs> and also we need to get some fruit and veggies. So first stop, Coles. On the way out we spotted this dingo, a native Australian dog. Although they're always lean animals, this one looked particularly hungry. We also stopped for a photo opportunity with the hugest boab tree we've seen all day and then continued on to Kununurra and the beginning of the Kimberley region. So we found this free camp on wiki camps. Looks all right to us, but the other people are chickening out. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a quarry. No, it's just a quarry. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think anyone's going to be quarrying here. Well, friends, we are in Kununurra. We found this little sneaky free camp slash stealth camp. Not sure how official it is, but anyway, we're staying here. We're making laksa tonight, and despite the fact that I haven't eaten meat for almost five years, I've only actually cooked tofu once in my life that was already marinated so this is like 
just your regular old tofu the firm tofu I'm not sure if I'm doing it right I'm frying it up in a little bit of the um, luxa paste before I put all the other luxa stuff in so if anyone knows how to cook tofu please let us know in the comments down below so we're both here like ah. it's a really spicy number but and we're about halfway through I always forget to take a photo the Lux is looking pretty good. What do you reckon, Nigel? Uh, well, apart from making my nose run. <laughs> mm, same. Mm. And sweat. Mm. Well, not my nose sweat, my head yeah. sweat. Yeah, the tofu's been a bit of a winner, actually. Mm. Mm. Good morning, friends. We have just woken up here in this beautiful free camp slash wild camp. And what nobody talks about crossing the border from Northern Territory to Western Australia is the fact that there is a one and a half hour time difference. So while the sun has just come up and you would think, oh yeah, it's seven o'clock. Well, it is on one side of the border, but here there's a one and a half hour time difference. So it's actually just gone 5.30. I've been awake for probably close to an hour. Beautiful bird life sounds over this pond too. So. Let's have a really good look at what this area is like. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Join us next time when we explore Kununurra, the Miramar National Park, and do one of the most famous water crossings in Australia. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.